What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for yet another video, and today we had the Boston Logan Model Airport video. It seems like there's going to be a once a year thing now, because I did one back in August, and now here we have October 2023, and we're doing Boston Logan once again. Um, there have been some changes since the last time to this, obviously new setup since then, and also some of the flights have changed with different aircraft. And so the uh, first one here is a change. Here we have Virgin Atlantic Airbus 330-900neo going out to London Heathrow. And this one is a change because it used to be on the Airbus 330-300 and now it's on the Neo. So the Neos are starting to phase their way into the Virgin Atlantic system. You've seen them on a lot more routes now. Montreal is still on the E-170 though. One thing that has changed is that I've picked up a lot more JetBlue models since the last time this video. Here you can see a JetBlue A320. This one's with the uh, newer Spotlight tail. And this aircraft is taxing out for a flight out to Newark. It came in from Salt Lake City about an hour and a half ago. Here we have this Delta Connection ERJ-170 operated by Republic Airlines. This aircraft came in from Salt Lake Douglas and it's currently taxing out for a flight out to Cleveland as Delta Flight 5595. I flew on this flight. When I came in through Boston on my return from Vegas, you'll see the aircraft I flew in from Vegas a little bit later in the video. Here we have a JetBlue Airbus 320 towing to his gate. He's arriving in from Tampa. It'll be heading out to Fort Lauderdale about an hour and a half. A model I'm happy to have back in the active collection, Delta 767-300. This aircraft came in from Lisbon and will be going out to Edinburgh. Southwest Airlines does not have that big of a presence out of Boston, but here we do have a 700 taxing out for fly out to Baltimore. And he came in from Chicago Midway. This is the uh, Panda Models version of the 700 with uh, winglets. There's only been three of these ever made. Have the German Jets, the Aero Classics, and this here Panda model, the version, all of which are fairly rare and quite expensive on the used market. Since I've gotten more JetBlue models since the last time, I do finally have JetBlue A321. This one is in their special 200 aircraft, special livery. This aircraft came in from San Juan and we're going out to Fort Lauderdale. Here we have the Vetsam Blue A320. This aircraft came in from Houston George Bush and it's currently taxed now for a flight out to New York JFK. I have 10 of my 11 JetBlue models in here. The only one that's not going to be in this video is going to be my uh, iHeart New York special livery. That one is still at uh, my parents' place. Um, so eventually I'll bring that over here and then I'll have every single JetBlue model in the collection here. Swiss Airbus 330 for the flight to Zurich. The Delta Airbus 330-300 came in from Rome and will be going out to Amsterdam. Here we have another flight I can now represent because I have the model. The Emirates 777-300ER is here on the Dubai tongue. You can see they haven't pulled up the flaps or slats yet. They just got off the runway. But yeah, it's cool to have an Emirates 333 that I can now represent on Dubai flights. And so this one is on the Dubai service out of Boston. That box you see back there in the background, that is my new air compressor that I can use for my airbrush. So I can finally go ahead and uh, paint these boards here. So hopefully I can do that here in the near future. Have the Delta A22300. These are starting to make their way into Boston now. They head into a year ago, but they are now here. And this aircraft came in from Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. And it'll be going out to Raleigh Dome. You're going to see about maybe about uh, 10 or so flights a day, 10 to a dozen flights a day now on the A22300 out of Boston. But there are still more A22100s. I still though don't have a Model 1, so hopefully that can change in the next year and I'll get myself one and that can represent it at Boston Logan. Next up, here we have this Delta Airbus A321neo. This aircraft here came in from Las Vegas as Delta Flight 441. We're we going out to Seattle. I came in on that Las Vegas flight. It's a uh, overnight. It is the um, the Red Eye flight, and it's now Flight 497. As they changed the time a little bit, comes in a little bit later now into Boston in the morning. Leaves Las Vegas a little bit later too. But it was a great flight, great experience. The A321neo is a fantastic aircraft with a really nice cabin. If you ever get the chance to fly on it, I highly recommend it. Such a soothing, relaxing experience. I really love it. 
Uh, the, the Spirit one that I was on was pretty good too, but this Delta one just took it to a whole nother level of comfort and durability. So, Delta did a great job with that, and I look forward to flying another A321neo very soon. Here we have a Delta Boeing 757-200. This aircraft came from Atlanta, and will be going out to Los Angeles. The Delta A321 came in from Minneapolis, and will be going out to Detroit. Delta Airlines, Boeing 767-400, person back for their flight out to London Heathrow. This is the second of many London Heathrow flights we'll see. There are a total of six airlines that operate services in and out of London Heathrow to Boston. So this is number two. We had Virgin Atlantic earlier. Here's Delta's competition, and we'll see some more later. United 737-900 came in from Chicago Hale, and we're going out to Washington Dulles. United Max 9 is pushing back for a flight out to Newark, and it came in from Houston George Bush Intercontinental. The MAX-9 appears to actually be United's most common aircraft type here in Boston. The Spirit A320neo came in from Myrtle Beach and will be going out to Fort Lauderdale. Next up here we have an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900. This is the one without windlets as you can see. They do still have a couple of these left in operation. But yeah, this aircraft came in from Seattle and will be going out to Portland. Here we have a United Boeing 757-200 in the New York Harbor here livery. This aircraft did recently come into Boston and it was on the San Francisco tone. So here we have this aircraft taxing out for flight out to San Francisco and he came in from Los Angeles. So United flies 752s to Los Angeles and San Francisco. That's the only equipment they use on those two routes, which is really, really cool to see. Here we have an American Boeing 737 MAX 8 for flight out to Miami. So because Delta and American have a lot of regional services out of Boston, there's quite a few regional routes as they're both focus cities for both airlines. So here we have an American Eagle. Uh, this one is operating for a public ERJ-175. This aircraft came in from Louisville and will be heading out to Cleveland. Here we have an American Eagle ERJ-170. This aircraft is in the retro livery, you wouldn't really see it here because this is operated by Envoy Air and it's out of Chicago, so you wouldn't really see this aircraft in Boston, but I represent it as a Republic Airways aircraft. This aircraft came in from Columbus and we're going out to Indianapolis. And here we have the cute little ERJ-145 operated by Piedmont. I operate these aircraft on a daily basis for commute air, but here we have the uh, Piedmont one which is basically the only other carrier left in North America that has a large operation uh, in terms of regularly scheduled service. Yes, Jet Suite X operates them, but they don't really do like normal regularly scheduled service. So it's basically Piedmont and Commute Air, they're the only ones left. This aircraft came from Syracuse and will be going out to Harrisburg. The American Airbus 319 and the Allegheny Retro Livery came in from Washington Reagan National. And the American Airbus 319 came in from Philadelphia. The American Eagle ERJ-175 came in from Cincinnati and we're going out to St. Louis. Here we have the Iceland Air Boeing 757-200. This is a gorgeous model by NG Models. This aircraft is here from Reykjavik on the twice daily service. They use quite a variety of aircraft. You'll see 737 MAX 9s, Boeing 752s, and the 767-300 coming to Boston. So it's one of the most populous routes that they do. The Boeing 777-300ER is here from Seoul and Chan. Here we have the Air France Airbus 350-900 here from Paris Charles de Gaulle. Here we have the JetBlue ERJ-190. He came in from Pittsburgh and he'll be going out to Raleigh Dome. Here we have the JetBlue A321neo. This aircraft came in from London Heathrow and he'll be going out to Amsterdam. Yes, JetBlue is operating the A321neos on international services. They fly to London Heathrow and to Amsterdam and that's also the third airline in the video to fly to London Heathrow. We will see the other three towards the end of the video. But yeah, quite a bit of services here on the A321neo. They don't, I don't think they use this A321neo. I believe it's more of a uh, regular domestic config one. They use one of the streamers tail, I believe it is, that has the full mint cabin, which has, I believe half the aircraft is first class mint seats and then the rest is premium economy and economy, whereas this configuration, more domestic config, doesn't have as many of the mint cabin seats in it. But I've seen the cabin for the JetBlue service. It looks really nice and I hope to fly on it at some point in the near future. Next up, we have the JetBlue Airbus 320. This aircraft came from Orlando and it'll be going out to San Diego. The Airbus A220-300, which is the future of the fleet, will be replacing their E-190s for JetBlue. This aircraft came from Detroit and it'll be going out to Nashville. 
Another JetBlue 320 came in from Austin. We're going out to Los Angeles. The final JetBlue 320 came in from Jacksonville and we're going out to Austin Reagan National. And then here we have three wide body aircraft over there on my hard stands. We first have a Japan Airlines Boeing 787-9. We're going out to Tokyo Narita. Really cool service there. The British Airways 787-10. We're going out to London Heathrow. That's London Heathrow number four. London Heathrow number five is in the back there. That is the American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. London Heathrow number six. Here we have this United Boeing 767-300. We're going out to London Heathrow. That is the sixth daily airline that operates London Heathrow service. Meanwhile, Delta is pushing back the Airbus 330 Neo here to be towed over to the gate where he'll be going out to Paris Charles de Gaulle on the A330 Neo, which is really cool to see. And then here we have a KLM Boeing 777-200ER going out to Amsterdam. And then we have the final two models for the video. Here we have a UPS Boeing 767-300 going out to Philadelphia. And the final model is this Qatar Airways Airbus 350 to Doha. Uh, it was interesting, in my last video that I did, the uh, 2022 model airport video, I did the Qatar Airways, this exact model, the NG models Qatar A350 to Doha as the first model. And here in the 2023 video, the Qatar A350 is the last model. So, yeah, that's basically it for this model airport video. I was able to represent more operations here, as I have a few more models than last time, and was able to represent some operations that uh, wouldn't have been seen before. So, it's really cool. Really enjoyed making this video. Hope y'all enjoyed watching. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. God bless.